Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program must accept the integer r, c, and the matrix and k as the input. And if the integer k is present in the border of the matrix, then we should print the integers based on the conditions. So the first condition is first we have to print the k and then print the previous integer of k along the border and then print the next integer of k along the border and similarly we have to print the previous and the next integers in the borders so if k is not present in the matrix then we are going to print minus 1 as the output now we will take our first test case So here R is 5, C is 5 and K value is 54. So now we are checking for 54 in the border elements. So here we have 54. So we'll mark this index. And now our first condition is we have to print K first. So let me mark it. So this is K. And after printing k, we have to print the previous integer and the next integer of k. So it is 14 and 25. And then after printing 14 and 25, we have to print their previous and next integers. That is 73 and 72. And it goes on like this till we reach the last border element. So, as we can see, we have reached the last border element that is 97. So, yeah, we'll print this border elements in a particular order. So, this will be our output. Now, similar to this test case. Now, let's take our another test case. So, here we have k as 76. So, as we see, we have two elements with 76 in the border. So, let us consider the first occurring one that is the 76 in the second row. So, this will be our k element. And from this k, will get the previous and next integers consecutively. So I'm just marking all the border elements in the order that we should print them. So then we have 34 and 34. And then we have 76, 58. And then 75. So now we'll print this as our output. So for this test case, this will be our output. Now we'll take the next test case. where we have four rows and three columns and these are the border elements. Now we look for k is equal to 19. So 19 is present inside the matrix but not in the border elements. So in such a case we are going to print minus 1 as our output. So for this test case minus 1 will be the output
now let us solve this program so first we have to get the uh, input r c the matrix and the k and then we'll have the border element as a list and then we'll iterate over column 0 to column c and we'll append the border element with the matrix of 0 and column so after that we'll iterate from row 1 to row r minus 1 and then append matrix row minus 1 to border element and then we'll iterate from c minus 1 to minus 1 in column with the step index of minus 1 and append their values and then we'll iterate from r minus 2 to 0 in row with step index minus 1 and append the matrix of row 0 to border element so after appending the elements now if k is in border element Let's see what to do. So if the k is present in the border element, then the in will be assigned to get index of border element. So now let us define the function get index. So inside this function get index, we are going to get the index of k. Uh, which is present in the border so now in this function we'll have clockwise and anti-clockwise which is counterclockwise so clockwise is zero and counterclockwise will be length of border element minus one and if k is in matrix of zero then we are going to return matrix of zero dot index of k and in the else part we are just going to increment the clockwise with C and so we will just increment the clockwise with C and here we are going to iterate from CTR1 to CTR R and if the matrix of CTR 0 is equal to equal to K means and we are going to return C that is we are going to return the counter clockwise So counterclockwise will be returned and in the elif part the matrix of CTR and then minus 1 is equal to equal to k means we are going to return clockwise and Finally, we'll return counter clockwise here minus the matrix of minus one dot index of k minus one and Here we'll have the border element equal to the border element of in 
dot border element of in colon plus the border element of in so this will get the border elements and after this we are going to print k comma end argument and then we have to iterate from ctr1 to ctr len of border element slash 2 and then we'll print the border element of minus ctr border element of ctr and then we'll print the border element of length of border element double slash 2 so if k is present in the border element we will perform these operations and if it is not present we are going to print minus 1 as our output 